Hey guys, I just want to let you know I launched a Patreon. Check it out in the link below. I'm heading to Japan for the first time in November, but before I go, I'd like to hone my Yakiniku skills. Also, my dog will be joining me. Just a little hack to improve watch time. Uh-oh, dog's gone. Eh, never mind. She'll be back later. Anyway, let's get to work on the Yakiniku sauce. In a small sauce pot, add a quarter cup of sake and a quarter cup of mirin. Bring it to a boil over high heat. Boil it until most of the alcohol evaporates away. Woo. Yeah, try not to breathe this stuff in too much. Okay, when you smell that most of the alcohol has cooked off, take it off the heat and pour it in a separate small bowl. Then to the bowl, add half a cup of soy sauce, three cloves worth of minced garlic, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sesame seeds, and a pinch of MSG. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Please stop freaking out. There's nothing harmful about MSG. AJ Plus did a great video on debunking all the bad things about MSG. I'll leave a link to it right here. But basically to summarize, due to years and years of bad science, everyone thought MSG was creating a pandemic of allergic reactions everywhere. Of course, it's not true. It's used all the time in Asian cooking, which is probably why Chinese fast food chains here in the US have the reputation they have. So please get over your fear of MSG. Trust me, with this stuff, it's gonna take our yakiniku into the stratosphere. Let's give it a nice taste test. Bit more garlic and another half teaspoon of sugar. Oh yeah. Now that we're done with the sauce, let's get to the grilling. Now, upon doing my research, I found out that the cheapest Yakiniku grill goes for about 30 bucks on Amazon. But uh, middle of the road Yakiniku grills can cost like 40, 50 dollars. And I'm all like, hell yeah, I'm making my own. So that's what I did and it only cost me 12 bucks. Head down to the hardware store, pick up an 8 inch terracotta pot and saucer. The whole thing should cost you 7 bucks. Then... Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to deal with that for the rest of the episode. Then head to a restaurant supply warehouse or Amazon and pick up a 10 inch pizza screen. Why not regular grill grates? Because they'll be too large for the cuts of meat we'll be using. You can get these at restaurant supply warehouses for dirt cheap. If not, you can get them on Amazon for eh, five, six bucks. So place it on top of our Yakiniku grill and boom. The whole thing costs about 12 bucks. Uh, get a real one. I'm a millennial. I spent all my money on a college degree I'm not using. And of course, as we should know, a real Yakiniku uses charcoal. So pour in enough charcoal briquettes to fill up the pot. Then place the briquettes in a charcoal starter. Take some paper towels, soak them in cooking oil, put it under the starter, light it on fire, and let the charcoals heat up. Oh, and uh, my recommendation, do it in an area where it's nice and open because it's gonna create a lot of smoke. All right, once the briquettes turn gray around the edges, it's ready to go in our grill. And uh, what I like about this specific starter is that it has a little latch right here on the bottom. So... Okay, make sure all the briquettes are nice and laid out evenly. Place our pizza screen on top. I got here some American Wagyu beef and some pork belly. So using a pair of tongs, take our meat, and place it onto our grill, and cook them for about a minute on each side. Oh, and uh, this will create a lot of smoke, so hopefully you're not going to a fancy event later. Okay, when they're nice and brown on both sides, take them off the heat. Before I dig in, let me give some to my taste tester right over here. All right, let it cool down for a bit, then dip it in our yakiniku sauce. Oh yeah. You got to go to wait until I try the ragu beef in Japan. And just like that, you have a nice DIY yakiniku. 
That way, when I finally go to Japan, I won't finally look like a crabble noob. Besides, does Japan really need another clueless American YouTuber making a mockery of her culture? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, give a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Also, smash the like button if I should include my dog in more videos. <laughs>